Hey you guys! We're going to do a new Jan Brett book for our author study and this time it's going to be The Hat. There's a picture of it. So The Hat. And I think already from the cover you can see some of the things we talked about yesterday are in here. So you need to read the book and remember to see what you notice about Jan Brett's style in both her writing and her illustrations. Hope you like this one. The Hat by Jan Brett. All right, you guys, make sure that you check and see if she has all the same things that she had in the mitten. So I notice already that she has borders. I wonder if they're predicting again like they were in the mitten. Winter was on the way. Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. Curious Hedgie found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgie thought. Mother Hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea, and off she ran. Hedgy saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk. Ha, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that. The hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment, and off he ran. Barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgie tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Hmm, purred the cat, and off he ran. I bet some of you are noticing that there's repeating, huh? If you've been flashing the repeating sign at me, good job. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgie in a patch of brambles. Hedgie, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgie said. The farm dog's ears perked up, and off she ran. I'm wondering if you guys are noticing anything going on at the top of the book this time. Look carefully if you haven't been looking at that. Oink, oink, the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgie? The mama pig asked. Making sure my hat doesn't fall off if an icy wind blows up. I see, said the mama pig, and off she ran. Hey, what is that ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hedgie. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgie shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgie was usually so friendly, and off he ran. Hedgie just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him, and with, with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit into his den see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgie thought, even the girl is laughing at me. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgie's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Hedgie headed for his den, and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. Did you guys notice that? Mm-mm. It's empty. If 
The animals had taken them, and each one was thinking, Now I am wearing a magnificent hat. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgie reached his den. How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? The end. Make your list of what you think Jan Brett's style is, both in her writing and in her illustrations, so we can talk about it. Okay, bye.